Hi guys, this is PTY Trader. Today I'm going to go through a small guide that I made for the people that want to use the command line on Linux. I'm going to be making another one of these for Windows, but this gives you uh, the 10 main commands that you will use most of the time on the command line. And uh, I will give you an overview of how to start the Komodo D and get into the actual commands. So let's go ahead and start. First, we want to run our Komodo daemon. Whoops. So the Komodo and uh, this actually, I've heard this issue with some people uh, when they start up the the swing wallet. Since it's a native wallet, it actually has to go through this process. It loads the blocks, it activates the best chain, and then finally it um, it loads the wallet. So you have to wait for it to load up before you can interact with it. Meanwhile, I'll show you guys what I've done. The 10 main commands are the Komodo CLI get info, which gives you the current block um, chain, or the, uh, the current block height and balance information. Uh, Komodo get new address is to create a new address. The Komodo CLI backup wallet uh, to the destination. That's pretty self-explanatory. The Komodo CLI dump, dump priv key is in order to dump your Komodo private key, and this helps in case you don't have access. Um, to Agama, for example, if you uh, make a wallet with a seed, you can use the private key to import your wallet into a command line wallet or the swing wallet as well. Um, guess get best block hash is to get the latest block hash. You can compare that with the block explorer to make sure you're on the correct height. Komodo CLI send to address, which is I think one of the most important. It allows you to send to another address. And the last two, which are the help and the stop commands. Um, which are pretty self-explanatory, and I'll try to go through most of them. The only one that I probably will not do is import priv key since I don't have a private key, uh, but I will try to make a new address and uh, dump it so I can show you guys how it's done. Okay, I think it's still loading. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, guys, so now that our client is loaded, we can go ahead and start using our commands. So I'm only going to run a couple of them just so you get an idea of how to actually do the commands uh, if you're new to the CLI. So for example, I already have a wallet created, but let's say that you want to create a new address, correct? So let's go ahead and run the get new address command. And voila, now we have a new address. We're going to go ahead and save set address. And I'm going to show you. It's very important uh, that you get the private key of any address that you make, just in case you don't have access to the wallet that file. So now that we have our Komodo address, let's go ahead and get our private key. So we can run Komodo CLI, dump private key. Go ahead and paste your private your Komodo address, and it will give you this long string of numbers, which is your private key. Now, with this key, you can access your funds from any client as long as you can import it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and actually try to make a transfer. So, same um, same parameters at the beginning of all commands. Komodo CLI send to address now the send to address as you can see in the guide here it says komodo address and then amount so we're going to go ahead and get the komodo address Oops, sorry about that now we have komodo cli send to address we have the komodo address and let's put the amount 0 0.001 and there you go it gives you the hash so that's pretty much how you operate the command line wallet. It's really not that hard. It's very reliable. Um, I think it's a great tool for us to have, uh, given that the GUI sometimes is buggy. 
but uh, eventually, you know, everything will, will work out with the GUI where people won't have to use a command line. But for now, it's it's a great tool. Um, here on the guide, you can actually see that I've pasted all of the commands, so you don't have to go into the help um, option and on the client to find them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, thank you guys. Remember, if you guys have questions, you can go to the supernet.org, join our Slack, um, chat us on Bitcoin Talk. We're always available. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.